Welcome back everyone, KJ Productions. Uh, if you just watched our cooking eating with a fish, now we're going to do a pheasant back mushroom. Pheasant back mushrooms are mushrooms you find in the woods. And me and Javen, were, when we were going down to catch the fish in our last video, we found these. Well, I found them on a dead tree. There's Javen right there. He's getting the fire started back up because we put it out. And we didn't realize, oh, it's already started by itself. We didn't realize that we were going to cook these. So we were fishing. I found these. I brought them home. Like I said, they're called pheasant backs. They're a very good mushroom. And we're going to show you how to cut them up and cook them over the fire. And you saute them. Like the fish, we fried. Now we're going to saute these with butter. We have the seasonings right here. So, yeah. We'll get back to you when we start cutting it up. All right, we're going to cook some shrooms, like I said before. <laughs> so when you have a pheasant back, you want to get them in May. Because if you get them in May, they're, gonna, they're the best. And they're kind of flimsy. You do not, you want to cut it about an inch down from the top, just about like this. No, I didn't get it yet, I said it, no. Alright, so you want to take those pieces off like that. I didn't get all the way through. Because of the fact that, the, the I call it the crown part, the top part, is really tough. And if you have a dehydrator, you could dehydrate the crown part, this top part, and you can uh, grind it up and put it in, in your soup. If you have like a mushroom soup recipe and you need mushrooms, well, if you grind it up and keep the powder after you dehydrate it, well, that could be the mushrooms. Break them through well either. So just like that. Because this part, if you try to cook it, will be very tough because it's very thick. So, I'm going to, when we go home, we're going to cut these up and probably cook them later tonight or I'll eat them. And uh, I'm going to keep these today, hydrate them. But since I'm at Javen's house, I'm just throwing them away. So, now we got this piece. So, you want to cut them up in about finger sized chunks. Like, about that wide. We're gonna cut up this mushroom and we put it on the fire, we'll be back. All right, guys, we're gonna put these in here. These are only gonna take a minute or two because they uh, cook very fast. And we got some ham too. Yeah. You want more butter? Probably. All right, we'll come back when we're gonna put the ham. So we put the ham in now, and now the next time you see us, we're gonna be up there eating. All right, guys, so we pulled it off the fire, and there it is. The real black stuff uh, is the sh mushrooms or the brown, and then the and then we put ham in there with it. You didn't need to put any oil. I mean, you didn't need to put as much butter as we put in there, but just enough to keep it from burning. And, you know, so. diabetes. Yeah. All right, so we're going to dish it out. I'm going to clip it on over there. Clip it on right here. I don't think we need to season the pan, season the butter. <laughs> anyway. Wow. What? A little salt. A little salt goes a long way. No, but it's good. And the butter seems to have soaked into the mushrooms. Yeah. Either way, it was good. Another success with cooking and eating.